Ines in NPR. Our friends from the media have a lot of questions in store for Troy this afternoon. But uh, before I proceed with the q and I'd like to thank uh, all of them for showing up. I know it's a busy day for the media with simultaneous events uh, happening right now. But maraming salamat po sa pagpunta. For the first question, ayan, it's a phone-in question I'm going to read. It's from Malika Sabio of Push.com. Uh, of course, for Troy. Um, now that you have revealed that uh, the Lamhadi as your final OPM collective, what lies ahead for you? And also, uh, could you share with us the reason on uh, why this project is, uh, or why are you graduating from doing OPM collectives? Um, I want to make it clear, I'm a very creative, dramatic person when it comes to my art. So this is the final of the trilogy, um, of the story of, you know, who this, whoever this is, okay, this picture. But I will never ever stop making Filipino music. I am obsessed with Filipino music. So what lies ahead for me might be more original Filipino music, like that I've written and worked with some of the artists here. I would, and one of my biggest dreams is to, um, you know, this album is a collaboration of many different races and different styles, but my dream is to make an album that is completely Filipino made. So um, maybe that lies ahead for me is to make an album where I just use the people from here, from the Philippines. So. All right, that clarifies everything. Actually, a lot are worried that this, uh, this should be your last project. So uh, there are a lot to come yeah, yes. from Troy. For our next question, I'd like to call on uh, Glenn Sibonga of Showbiz Bonga. Yeah. Good afternoon and congratulations, Troy. Thank you, Bob. Yes, um, somehow, medyo na itanong na yung question ko kanina, but can you, uh, can you talk more about uh, Regine Velasquez and uh, Augie Alcacid as well? Did you have the chance to bond with him? How is it working with them? Oh, I got my first chance to bond with them last year when I had my first concert here in Manila we had it at Resorts World and they are the most lovely people you know it's it doesn't dawn, it doesn't um I don't take it for granted who they are it's Ogiel Cassidy and Regine Velasquez and if they were any slight of sassy or mean they have the right to do so because of who they are okay but when they met me it was just open arms in full Filipino form and they just embraced me and supported me and we got we ate dinners together we've been in the studio many times and I just love them they are the most the sweetest family and the most amazingly talented and I, I you know I can't, I can't say enough about how much I love Sir Ogie and Miss Regine so of all their songs uh, what is your favorite of all their songs individually Paul, or just yeah. um, Nandito ako and Pangako. Those songs were always running in my house. So those wow. bring back a lot of memories. Well. Congrats. How about uh, with uh, American uh, singers? Uh, what is your most memorable uh, experience? Or who do you uh, really dream to be working or collaborating with? You know, actually one of the biggest dreams that I have, um, I know that she's more known among the musician community here, but um, in the States, she's very well respected. And as a musician first, one of the biggest um, dreams that I had was to work with Miss Leila Hathaway, who is the daughter of the late and great Donny Hathaway. And she rendered um, When I Met You by Apple Hiking Society. So to be able to work with her just for a musician is just such a like, gag, darling. So I'm, I loved it every moment. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. Thank you, Paul. My uh, next question is for Jed. Jed, uh, of course, you, you answered already the, how is it working with uh, Troy, but uh, what is the impact sayo yung, yung song na uh, chosen to, be colla to collaborate with, yung the memory? Yes. Um, well, the first time I heard the song, I was like, ako kasi I, I, I'm already like, uh, kumbaga, comfortable in my own skin as a balladeer, as a belter. And when Troy introduced the song to me, it had a certain R&B feel. So, tinanong ko siya, kaya ko ba to? Kaya ko ba to? Will I be able to, you know, give justice to his composition? Sabi niya, yeah, kaya mo yan. Let's, let's try, let's try. Kaya mo, kaya. So, doon pala nang galing yung kaya mo ba to? Kaya mo, oo. So, um, Oh, I, I really love 
when when it comes to collaboration, it's not just one-sided. Hindi pwedeng bibigay lang yung kanta sa akin and then gagawin ko on my own. Hindi. So I told Troy, whatever vision you have for this song, let me know. You have full control of my voice. You have full control of whatever you want this song to sound. Let me know. So that was how it was recorded when we met in the studio. I told him, do whatever. And then that's what he did. Uh, I would sing it my way and then he would suggest, nah, can you do it this way? Can you do it that way? And when I would see his hand do that, and I was doing okay. I was doing right. So uh, that's how we work. With the, with, the, with the song Mouth and Memory and siya lang po ang uh, nag-iisang uh, arranger or composer na nagpamura po sa akin sa isang kanta. <laughs> so if you want to know what I mean, listen to uh, The Memory from his album. Yun po. Thank you, Jed. And thank you for uh, singing excellently one of my favorite songs. Thank Kanina. you. You're my song. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. Congrats also to Chloe and Jan. Thank and salamat po, Tito Glenn. Um, my next question is also for Troy. Uh, what are your favorite tracks in the Dalamhati album? Uh, you mentioned a while ago it's about uh, unrequited love. So can you share with us your favorite tracks? My favorite track, you know, it's all of them, cliche, but if I were to choose one of the tracks that I feel that can make, that still affects me when I listen to it, it's the first track, Damon Coldheart. Um, for a lot of times I was very closeted as a Filipino, as a gay man, in a lot of ways closeted in more than one way. Um, and with that first track, it was my coming out to the Philippines, not just as part of the LGBTQ community, but as just as me, myself, and basically introducing who Troy Laureta is to the world. So if you, t if you haven't had a chance to listen to Damien Coldheart, please take a listen. That's, that's all me, baby. For sure, we'll listen to that. Um, I'm going to read the next set of questions. Uh, it's from Flo Galindez. Yeah. Uh, as a record producer and songwriter, what factors do you consider when uh, arranging a music? Uh, do you prioritize the singer, the song itself, or the currently in-demand genre or trend during the creative process? Um, with producing, and I think it's a lost art these days, to be honest, I think we should always prioritize the artist and the singer. I think that a lot of times, um, that's how music gets watered down, and for me, I never want to go that route. I very much respect the integrity of each artist's artistry, and I look to see like what strengths can I draw out with the arrangement, with the chords that I use, what instrumentation I use. Chloe likes to whistle and do all that stuff, so I'm gonna do that. Like John Mark likes to do, and I'm like I'm gonna add some gospel elements. And Kuya Jed is just Kuya Jed, okay? He can sing like whatever I put in front of him. So. I always respect each artist when it comes to the producing. I never want to give them just BS. All right. Um, you have featured the, uh, the best artists in the Philippines and uh, in the US. Um, who are you looking forward to collaborating with? In the US? Oh, well, anywhere. Anywhere. Oh my God, there's so many people that I would love to collaborate with, especially in the Philippines. I I'm a huge fan of Skustakli, Sarah Geronimo, I love Moira. Um, in terms of the States, I would love to work with Barbara Streisand. I think I've been a fan of hers forever. I would, I'm gonna get her to sing Tagalog, yeah, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love to work with Ariana again. Um, there's just a bunch of artists that I love, um, and I love to work with real singers, like singers, artists that can really sing. That's my thing. If you can't sing, honey, it ain't for me, darling. <laughs> Okay, I might, uh, I'd like to ask about the rising artists, si John Mark and si Chloe. Uh, if ever given a chance to work with Troy on an actual project, ano ba yung nililook forward to yung uh, project with him? Um, if given the chance to work with Troy, um, actually, hindi po ako masyado nag-expect, pero for sure, um, maganda... Expected, girl. <laughs> And, ayun, um... <coughs> Siguro po ako, uh, ako po kasi, I, I, I am a songwriter, so I think now, um, yung pangarap ko naman is to do an original song na sinulat ko with Troy. So hopefully someday, um, pag di pa siya napagod sa <laughs> Ever. I would love to. Mapanakit din ba ito, John Mark? Kaya ng mga renditions mo of the other songs. <laughs> Medyo po. Mar maraming, maraming po akong bubo. 
Oh, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, another question for Troy. Now that you've made the mark, it's also from Flo, by the way. Now that you've made the mark on the international scene, have you faced challenges? Or what were the challenges in uh, creating all these? And uh, how did you address it? Um, 